Diabetes is officially a pandemic in our developing world today. And the complications from diabetes have severely burdened the healthcare systems in all countries. End organ damage is one of the main factors that leads to complications of diabetes and the eye is one such organ. The damage in the eye starts from microvascular changes, which means that the vessels in your eye become leaky. They can tend to uh, cause swelling, they could bleed, and eventually there could be retinal detachments as well. These are very severe, debilitating complications that can easily be avoided if sugars are well controlled. The cardinal risk factor for developing diabetic retinopathy tends to be long duration of diabetes and poorly controlled diabetes. As with any disease, the risk factors can be divided into two. Those that are non-modifiable, which means that they are not under our control, such as genetic factors, and those that are modifiable, which means we have control over them, such as diet, lifestyle changes, exercise, things like this. Over the last decades, the shift of therapy has changed from medication to modifiable risk factors and lifestyle changes. And this is what all of us aim towards. As clinicians, we have also adopted a more holistic approach to all our diseases, and this includes diabetes. And here is where we talk about the low-carb, healthy-fat diet, which is emerging as a very good uh, dietary strategy for managing long-term diabetics. It is a very simple diet if we incorporate a behavioral change and an ideology change with the way we eat and the way we view our food. Now, grains have been the center point of diet for a long time. These include uh, rice, wheat and now more recently millets as well. However, the low carb diet involves us changing this thought process. We now need to view uh, these grains as hidden sugars. So what we do is we change our plate from having a large portion of grains or cereals to having a large portion of vegetables and incorporating more healthy fats like plant-based fats in our diet and also reducing the amount of sugars which could be obvious sugars like we would see in fruits or say sweet products and the more subtle hidden sinister sugars like in our grains and in our other carbohydrates as well. Along with this we would also require to incorporate more exercise into our lifestyle, manage our stress a little bit better, take up hobbies, take up recreational activities, do some amount of meditation, improve our hydration. We would also need to do all of this under strict monitoring with our physician and also have our diabetic retinopathy monitored regularly. The aim is to have a more practical and a sustainable way to manage diabetes and to eventually, if possible, try and reduce its impact on our population. The idea is to understand what you put into your mouth, what food you have and what impact it has on your body and on your health and to move forward in a way that health is the ultimate goal.